When you create a new pivot table, Excel automatically adds drop-down buttons to the Report Filter field. as well as the labels for the column and row fields. These buttons, called filter buttons, let you filter all but certain entries in any of these fields, and in the case of the column and row fields, to sort their entries in the table. If you've added more than one column or row field to your pivot table, Excel adds collapse buttons that you can use to temporarily hide subtotal values for a particular secondary field. After clicking a Collapse button, it immediately becomes an Expand button that you can click to redisplay the information. Perhaps the most important filter buttons in a pivot table are the ones added to the field or fields designated as the pivot table filters. By selecting a particular option on the drop-down lists attached to one of these filter buttons, only the summary data for that subset you select displays in the pivot table. The filter buttons on the column and row fields attached to their labels let you filter out entries for particular groups, and in some cases, individual entries in the data source. To do this, click the column or row fields filter button, and then click the checkbox for the Select All option to clear this box. Next, click the checkboxes for all the groups or individual entries whose summed values you still want displayed. Click OK. Excel replaces the standard drop-down button for that column or row field with a cone-shaped filter icon, indicating that the field is filtered and displaying only some of its summary values in the pivot table. To redisplay all the values for a filtered column or row field, you need to click its filter button. Click Select All, and then click OK. Excel 2013 introduces a new way to filter your data with its Timeline feature. To create a timeline, select a cell, and then go to the Analyze tab under the Pivot Table Tools tab on the ribbon. In the Filter group, click Insert Timeline. A dialog box appears, displaying a list of Pivot Table fields that you can use for the new timeline. Select the checkbox for the date field you want to use and click OK. You can think of timelines as slicers designed specifically for date fields that let you filter data out that doesn't fall within a particular period. This lets you see timing of trends in your data. You can instantly reorder the summary values in a pivot table by sorting the table on one or more of its column or row fields. To resort a pivot table, Click the Filter button for the column or row field you want to use in the sorting, and then click the Sort A to Z option, or the Sort Z to A option. Click the Sort A to Z option when you want the table reordered by sorting the labels in the selected field alphabetically, from the smallest to largest value, or from the oldest to newest date. Click the Sort Z to A option when you want the table reordered in reverse alphabetical order. Values from the largest to smallest, or dates from the newest to oldest.